With the semi-finalists confirmed, our commentary team Mike Holden and Roger Morgan offer their thoughts on the upcoming matches. I think in the first game, I've got to go. I've got to go with the homester really. I mean, the crowd's going to go behind him. They're going to support him all the way, and I think John just might have a little bit of uh, a little bit of nous when the greens slow up a little bit. In the second game, Gary's played well. He's played well to beat Callum. Um, Tommy's done out wrong against Noel, by the way, but I don't think Noel was up to up to his normal game. And I'm just going to go for Gary. Gary always seems to just up his game when he gets onto a new green and plays against new players. So uh, he just sort of pulls it out. If he were playing an average player, I wouldn't be touching him, but I think we're going to go for Ellis in the first game and Bailey as well. OK, um, I'm, I'm going to go slight, slightly different to Mike. I think um, um, Glenn Cookson um, at the moment, he is playing exceptionally well. I've seen him play quite a few times this season. Uh, saw him win uh, Ali Wood one day singles. Um, I know John, John, John will play the screen really, really well, but uh, Glenn, you could see that, he, that those corners were, were, were uh, to his liking. Um, so I think, um, I think it'll be very, very close because I think John will, 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 will give, him, give him a really big um, run for his money. But I just fancy, I, I just fancy Glenn Cookson in, in the first game. And the, in the second game, uh, Gary Ellis was hugely impressive against Callum Wright. Um, I have to say, Callum started off like a house on fire. And, and uh, but Gary just he just went about his business, never let him um, build any real momentum, and uh, was very very impressive to to run out to a single single figure win. Tommy um, always will will play well and uh, um, found the green to his liking. So, uh, um, but as Mike says, Noel just just didn't really quite settle. So I'm I'm just going to say, uh, it, uh, in my opinion, it'll be a Gary Ellis Glenn Cookson final. Bailey's won the toss and leads out across the middle of the green against Glyn Cookson in the first semi-final. So you're enjoying the Welsh air then, Michael? Did you bring your passport with you? I, I had it stamped by a sheep on the way over. <laughs> I found it a bit uh, balmy, actually. <laughs> Bailey's had a pretty decent one. Bailey left-handed against Cookson, the right-hander. Bailey, the local from Wales, Cookson from Cheshire. Give this a chance, Roger. Yeah, good ball. Yeah, Real. great lead. Real ball. Bailey might be having a pop at this early doors. He'll be up to it. Looks just turned his peg over and had a real reach at it. Yes, he looks a bit nipped on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going straight down, coming in for another, not much danger really. Just got to get on, it's on a good road, but he's just left it a touch short. One to Cookson. Yeah, they'll be happy with that start. One in, one in Jack, and uh, then he can start setting his marks in, in, in the corners. It's hugely impressive in, his, in uh, Glynn's quarter-final game, where... Uh, he had, he had uh, it was probably surprised people um, the margin of the victory, but a 21-14 win against, against Graham Wilson uh, is no mean feat. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Roger. Glenn's gone straight for the corner that he finished off Graham Wilson on. You've got to reach it there, but then it just runs at the death. It's just going to miss that jack and go a little yard. Just gone on the bit of brown stuff. It's interesting that Glynn's gone for this corner um, from John's point of view because uh, John played this corner quite a lot in the game against Mike Leach and it was a 21-19 thriller for John in, um, in the end. But, um, he did play um, the, these corners particularly well in the early part of the game against Mike Leach. Yeah, but Glenn's got to go where he wants to go, to where he can count good ones, hasn't mm. he? You know, and worry about not getting in later on. But John's licked his lead, so John's in. I think they might just swap the jacks for a few ends until both of them get to, get to grips with things. John looks as though he's got another ear. Yeah, good ball. <coughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. So where, where would you go now if you were John Bailey, Mike? John might come come over to the middle of the green. Yep, yeah, you're a clairvoyant. I personally think John's got to use his knowledge, local knowledge. Not just stick on one mark, just move going around a bit. Try and break him up. Good ball this, good one. Yeah, certainly, certainly opened up with a great lead. And the nearer he puts them, the crowd will be shouting louder. <laughs> well, Glenn's, Glenn's an old hand. He, he, uh, he can play a hostile crowd. Not that yeah, they're that hostile. Just gone out. What a good effort. Good effort from Glenn. This, of course, falls right in the centre of the uh, of the Colwyn Bay Festival, and um, Daniel Jones has done a great job to to bring to bring this all to fruition. Um, and it really has become a centrepiece of the crowd. The crowd here, really, really impressive. There must be. What do you think, Michael? About uh, 300 round the green? Oh yeah, yeah. I would have thought three, four hundred round yeah. the green. And uh, to Bailey. Yeah, he's very impressive. And uh, impressive all this in a, a fabulous cause, um, in, in memory of um, of Daniel's very good friend, um, Craig Craig Roberts, um, who, who uh, had a, a tragic and timely uh, and death. Um, the charity is Help for Heroes, and um, they're, they're raising raising an awful lot of money for their, uh, for a fantastic tra charity. And uh, great that the players have uh, made the effort to come to North Wales. And um, I mean, as a Welsh bowler, it's been many, many a year uh, since I've seen this many people around the bowling green. So it must be, it must be great for the, for the game of bowls in Wales. It's nice for the players as well to be appreciated with people turning out. Many are places you go to, and it's one man and his dog watching. So it's nice to see yeah. two or three hundred people around the yeah, green. It's now. like turning back the clock, really, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. In terms of how the crowds used to used to come out, mm, mm. Um, and we've we're blessed with good weather, and uh, and have to say the standard of the bowling so far has been superb. The, the players haven't disappointed. No, everything's turned out fine at the moment, and I'm sure the vast majority of the people will be wanting a Welsh winner as well. Yeah, well, we've got a one in four chance, and uh, and and John is head and shoulders the uh, the number one player in Wales, um, has been for a number of years, three times Welsh merit winner now. Um, he's uh, he's also won the uh, champion of champions and the Waterloo, and from from the lad that lives in the valleys in in Llanroost, which uh, takes about half an hour just to get to the, to the North Wales coast. And then he's got to travel into the uh, into into the hotbed of uh, Crown Green Bowls in the in the Manchester Warrington area. He deserves all the success he gets. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I wouldn't like to do with the travelling that he does. Mm. But if you get up like that, Mike mm. Glenn's just gone. Mm. Massive, bit, massive uh, end with John Line too. Mm. It's a bit disheartening that, but a wonderful ball from Glenn to finish the end off after two magnificent balls from John. Well, it seems a good time to pick up on the uh, Tommy Johnson Gary Ellis game here. Yeah. Tommy and Gary uh, trading early ends, and with with Tommy uh, line one here in the corner and yeah, uh, and looking is. for maybe two. He's just having a look at it. I think it's five nil for for Johnston at the moment without this end. Two. And yeah, it's seven nil, seven nil. Johnston right. leads, and we both picked Alice to go through. Oh, there you go, there you go. That's Making that's us look a bit <laughs> of a fool, isn't it, at the moment? That's that's the game of bowls at the moment. Tommy leading thumb peg up into the corner. And then finger peg back into this commentary corner. Uh, a real good lead again from Tommy. <coughs> Tommy known as a thrutcher. This is a good road. Good road if it's got a leg, yeah. Roger. Gary's, Gary's really uh, stalking this one. 
Just died a touch. Mm. Run it, referee. Great reply there from Gary. Really <coughs> attacking the jack. Tommy just he's, he's attacked it as well. Yeah, he's gone for and it. He's not a mile off. It might just hang just back hanging with speed. off. That's all. Yeah. Road right again from Gary Ellis. If he's got the same length, he's got another. He's just weighing it a touch. Just pegged on the side of his ball. Two to yeah, Ellis. Two, two great balls there from Gary Ellis to, uh, to stop that seven break of uh, Tommy's and, and uh, keep him very much in the hunt. Well, we certainly know where Tommy favours. Um, mm, yes, we do. do you think Gary's going to go uh, now, Mike? Gary's got, Gary will be looking for an edge, I think. Certainly considering his options. No, he's coming and how's, on. how's Gary's form this season, in, in your opinion, Mike? You see an awful lot of him. You, 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 you're in his training camp. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Chief bag you probably and know him. You, you, you probably you know him probably better than anyone else. How would you how would you rate his season so far? In mid-term report, awful. Oh, awful. That's Similar that's to last year. You can't you can't put any consistency together at all. He loses oh. he loses to people he shouldn't be losing to. But then when he plays the top player, he he just sort of somehow finds his game again and, and, and manages to get over the line with him. Mm. But his consistency is is very, very shoddy at the moment. And no matter how hard he tries, he just can't get the uh, the level of consistency that he, he requires. But at the end of the day, by the time the season's over, he'll still won half a dozen competitions. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. I was going to say, for... For your definition of awful, I'm, I'm sure he's won about three or four sweeps yeah, already. Yeah, he probably has. And uh, uh, it, he's always he's always there or thereabouts. Anybody that beats Gary Ellis, um, you know, really has something on their CV. Yeah, they do. It's never given away. No, no, you've got to beat not only Gary, you've got to beat his name and all. Just having a quick chat with the with the, the greensman. Um, Mr. Bancroft. Mr. Bancroft here has just just come to say hello, and um, you have to say it very quietly. <laughs> and the green looks absolutely magnificent, Neville. Do you want to say 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 a few words about the green? It's, it's never on. really fast enough for these star bowlers, but uh, if you can play this, uh, you can play anything. Yeah, we're having a great evening, and there's a fantastic crowd here. We're very impressed. Thanks very much. Yeah, absolutely. I just uh, just want to say on behalf of, on behalf of the players um, and how magnificent the green is, and um, and the crowd that's turned out today is uh, absolutely terrific and uh, all in a great cause and uh, a real team effort by Roselle Sea Bowling Club. <coughs> Gary's gone down the edge after that. Now they've not had good balls at this end. Gary Short here, yes. here just it's not uh, I'm not sure who's not in there. making another. I would have thought Tommy's in to be perfectly honest. Certainly further. Oh, he's just, uh, done a Tommy Johnson special, reaching on his short ball to promote it. <coughs> One to Johnston. Nine three. Nine three. Johnston leads. 9-3, Bailey leads. And you, you're right in terms of the tactics, Michael. Um, just switching to the John Bailey, Glenn Cookson game. Uh, John's now ma mauling him around a little bit, mauling Glenn around, just, yeah. just using his green knowledge. Yeah. Although um, Glenn's found an excellent ball there to, uh, to halt John's progress for the time being. Well, you'd have expected him to get in there, Roger. Yeah, yeah. 
nearest ball, five foot off. Even yeah. we'd have got in there, I think. <laughs> well, don't be so sure. <laughs> well, we'd have had two tries at it. Yeah, we could have yeah. got one, right? Yeah. Uh, you can see where it's all leading. Glenn's just going to go out and out corners all night. And Bailey's going to try and pinch points here, there and mm. everywhere against him. Well, Glenn's on a um, decent road here. Getting a little bit of finish in the dips, not not too bad. Just more or less, more or less a length, a couple of foot short and a, and a, a couple of foot underneath. Glenn won't be happy with it. Yeah, sorry, I'm talking my style. I'd be happy with that. Mm, most people would. <laughs> but what's amazed me is the crowd's died down. Now John's winning 10-4. They don't seem to have got kept on John's side, you know, there's not much mm. shouting when he's coming. No, 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 they, uh, they were a lot more vociferous in that tight game with uh, with Mike Leach. Yeah, exactly. The 21-19 thriller mm. in the quarter-final. But this, uh, I think I think this this game between John and Glenn has got a, a lot more twists and turns in it just yet. Glenn line two at 4-10, really wants to count. This wants to stop. It's got to hit something. It's hit the gap. I'm afraid. Left Coxon with two. So the gap just closing to six ten. Glenn, nearly a pensioner now. But like a fine wine. Now we've got Johnson winning. 15-9 and Bailey and Cooks and 13 across so from what uh, were turning out to be two one horse races one's turned into a thriller but Tommy's still getting the better of Gary Cookson has just grabbed another one in the corners there Ellis looks as though he's got a, a chance with this one. Real ball from Gary Ellis. Real ball. That's a ripple of that's applause. A, that's a yeah. fantastic ball at a vital time in the game. Mm. He needed um, that badly. Now now we're in the same street at 10.15. So this, this, this game between Glenn Cookson and, um, and John Bailey, the sparring has uh, continued throughout. 15.13, Cookson leads now. Like I said earlier on, the crowd's gone quiet for Bailey. They're not as boisterous as they have been. I think John needs that home support now quickly. Mm, Otherwise, the game will go from him. Just a few wayward balls um, uh, from John. That's, uh, that's certainly not like him there being about three, three and a half yard over. And Glenn now lying two within a yard. Well, a couple of foot that... 18 inch off that last ball of Glynn's. Big yeah. ball this for John Bailey. One thing he can't be is short, Roger. As long as he's not short, and I'm afraid he's only just there if he is. It's just hanging underneath. Mm. Looks to have left them both. Never really tr troubled the head, that one. I, I, it's a two, have, two, two to Glynn, and then all of a I'd sudden. That's it, Roger. Mm. Uh, 13 across game is now a 17-13. Yeah, Glenn just saying to John, you better check this if, you, if you're going to have a go. Uh, <laughs> somebody from the crowd said it's only one. And I don't know whether John has believed what's come out of the crowd, but he's, 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 he's playing a safe, safest ball, just playing a couple of foot over. Just clip the short ball and uh, managed to save but time running out now yep 19-13 Cookson leads he's coming for game leading out for game now let's give him a chance again he's giving five six seven foot past the jack John should be eating these eating them for breakfast and he has well she played one here as John Good ball. Aww. 
He's a yard at the side. This is a different road for going. If he's got a length, he wins it, Roger. If he's got a length, he wins it. Yeah, just it's a perfect road. Just hanging off, I think, Michael. There, up, John's yeah. on. Yeah. The road were perfect. Well, really wants to count two here, and then it's all about his lead. And finding, finding somewhere that he can just catch Glenn out. He gets his two. Back to 15-19. Johnson, 18-12 in front. Both games are going to finish about the same time. Just limped in, Gary. But I'm sure Tommy will be there again. Uh, yes, Tommy lies one. Gary looking to find one here in the corners. He's running. He wants to run. He wants to run, Roger. Yeah, it's labouring a bit. I think he'll, have to, he'll do well to count there. No, he's short. Quickly going back over to the John Bailey, Glenn Cookson game. John playing his second ball here with Glenn line one, and he's on 19, Glenn. And John's gone into the back of his short ball. Absolutely vital that he, he uh, did something to uh, stop that. Um, Ball, the first ball of Glynn's counting else he'd be coming up for game. Glynn's, and Glynn's right up and at it. He's looking to do some damage. Just got narrow. John survives to fight another end. 16-19. And it's all about building the pressure now from John's perspective. But one thing I do, I do wish that the crowd would get more involved. I wish to be mm. more supportive yeah. of good balls. Yeah, there's yeah, some there's good bowling being played, and the crowd don't really respond. And I think the players would respond more if the crowd yeah. got oh, involved. To touch of balls them. there, right in the middle of the game. Two vital balls. I think Glenn really liked his uh, his bowl. The, the hat's come off and been thrown to the ground, so he must have really liked that lead of his. He's got to do it all again now. As for Gary, I don't know. Gary never gives anything away. He'll just go through his routine and give 100% on the next ball. Played in the great spirit. All these top players, don't they? They, they respect each other. They know each other's games inside out. Yeah. They, know, they know that they will win if give it's their day. Give this a chance, Roger. He's give this a chance, I'll tell you. Oof. Just into the back of Tommy into Johnson. That's 2012 Johnston leads. Yeah, and that's it. That's and another day that would just glide past and count. And mm. it's, it's all about the just the, the fine margins, like in any top sport. Fine margins make all the difference. Bailey lying two here and all now yes. lying 18, 19. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn slipped up with his uh, his lead. Went a couple of yard over. Now he's facing two down with John poised to be 18 19 if he counts these two. Give this they a chance. Looks a bit too near just us. Too near so us. It'll save, I think. It's just felt wrong mm, way. There's, there's, a, shout, there's a shout of two from somebody in the crowd. Two and John duly obliges by signalling two. So, so there you go. And he's, he's right at back at Glenn now at 18 19. Just that chink of light. And John's, John has uh, taken his chance. Bailey's running after him now. Yeah, John's, John's the stalking the ball now. Now he's really pumped up now, John. He sees, he, he sees that the momentum's with him. Got another good lead, says beat that, Glyn. Glyn wants to stop. Oh, that's you know, he's just it. flicked into John's that's bowl, won it. That's and won it a that has won it. So this is a massive bowl now for John Bailey. He either promotes his own, or he sits Glynn's out. As long as he's not short, Roger. He's got everything I doubt, for being I doubt whether he'll be over. short, and he certainly isn't. It's all about the road now. He might be to back. Just hung off with speed. It mm. flicked Glenn's ball and it rocked back into its original position.
Glenn coming for game. And he's far yeah. enough. Me and mortals would just be happy with one, but he's Glenn far isn't. Enough. He's run up the back Got of the into ball. Got the back of John's ball, but didn't disturb it. 2018, Cooks and Leeds. 13-20, Johnston Leeds. <laughs> and not just anybody bringing you cups of tea, but, uh, but the great Graham Wilson. Yes. Wonderful. And my driver as well. <laughs> Well, Gary lies, uh, Gary lies two real balls here in front of us. Tommy Johnston special now. He's n Tommy about to be on the road and far enough. Looks to be Looks underneath. underneath. He is underneath. Gary's making uh, his comeback yeah, now, 15-20. Yeah. Can you win three ends on the bounce? Because I don't think you can. Them. Always easy from the side of the green. John's reached up, he's looking for a hit here. Yeah, John John is Cooks and Wade. It's a loose it's a loose end to finish with really. John will be disappointed with that second ball of his. I think Lynn has uh, counted with that back ball. Well the crowd does uh, great know. it's no, been a great no match. Applause. Been a great match, but I think they're about to break into a applause as the mat goes John's in. Match and Glynn goes to shake John's hand. A fine win by Glyn, Glyn Cookson against John Bailey. Game finishing 21 18. I'm not sure whether Tommy went the wrong peg there. Yeah, I was distracted watching the end of the uh, John Bailey uh, Glenn Cookson game, but if you say so, Mike, he's certainly corrected with that ball and he's played an absolute yeah. magnificent ball for game with Gary Lyon to, to close out the game. Tommy Johnson wins 21 15, two fantastic games of bowls and a huge round of applause from the crowd. So we have our finalists, and it's a Tommy Johnson Glenn Cookson final.